Hey guys, it's Chippy from Ultrabook News here. Uh, I'm sitting here with 42, a software company from Germany that have been doing some work with Intel over the years. Um, and you know we've been looking at the uh, perceptual computing stuff. We're, we're working on that with the uh, Ultimate Coder Challenge right now. Um, but these guys have gone actually a little bit a step further than what was provided with the PC hardware. We'll have a look at that in a minute. This is a photo organization app, library and organization app that, you, that has four methods of input that don't use the mouse pad, the mouse or the keyboard. What are they? Well actually if we swing around and have a look I'll show you what we've got in terms of hardware here. We've got the uh, creative uh, perceptual computing hardware from Intel here. Now this has depth sensor, face tracking, face analysis, object tracking and voice recognition as well. So in that we're going to do gesture tracking and uh, voice recognition. Down here we've got a product called the Toby. Now this is an eye tracking device. It's USB connected. Uh, there's an SDK that comes with it as well. And this will actually allow you to, um, this will all send eye tracking information to, to the software. Now all this is tied together with a kind of a software layer called uh, Noya. And the product here is called Noya Imagine. So Noya is a kind of um, uh, your extension layer that ties together all the SDKs at a lower layer so it makes it easier for people to add these features to software at a later date. So let's do a little test here. Now this, this bit of software was written in a couple of months as part of a competition, the Intel Ultra Challenge, which I didn't even know about actually until today. So um, this is all demo stuff. Let's see if it works. First of all we're going to try gestures and I'll talk you through what I'm doing. So obviously you see the gestures and it's, we haven't had to do any training with this, it did seem to work, so the camera's pointing down, I can go left and right, and then I can do thumbs up, and that has added the photo into my favourites at the top there. Now we can also do, uh, well of course we can do the touch, we can go left, we can go right, we can flick up and put that in there. Um, it's also doing voice recognition at the same time, so while I'm talking it's probably recognising, there you go, certain commands like next. Next, previous, um, add, add. Okay, well the next and previous work. We've got loads of noise going on because of Mobile World Congress in the background. So let's try the eye tracking one. Now this is, we had to train the eyes for this, and this feels a bit weird to me, but I'm now gonna look at the right hand picture and the left hand picture, to bring it back again. Right hand, left hand. I'm literally, and if we can swing the camera around, you'll see all I'm doing is just looking left, right, left, and that is working. Just going left and right. It feels a bit weird. I mean, yeah, just like a cell phone felt weird. It felt weird to talk into a cell phone walking down the street 25 years ago or 20 years ago, whatever it was. This feels weird. But I wonder if this will actually take off and become a very valid input mechanism. So there you go. That's uh, the four inputs. Um, Four input uh, mechanisms for the uh, Noya Imagine software from 42. German company, check them out. Um, we'll, we'll see if we can find out some more. I'll write some, uh, some news about this on Ultra News and uh, we'll track this. We'll track this, sorry about the pun, in the future. Thanks for watching.